Just a quick update on the Silsilva CNC build. I've made a few modifications here from the plans. Instead of using the aluminum flat stock to hold the bearings on the side, I kept trying different ones of these and I didn't like the way that they were bending, the way they were lining up. Um, I tried some wood also and again didn't like the way that that was setting up. So one of the nice things about a little 3D printer is you can design your own stuff. So did a couple different designs here. These are some of the ones that didn't quite work. And then this is what I ended up with. And this is 100% fill, so this is a solid piece. Holds it nice and tight. We've got nice, easy flow on, on both sides. So those came out pretty well. And then also for the 3D printer, the bushings to hold the Acme rod on the ends. That was an easy print. And we've got the bearing sitting inside there and also on the end pieces. So 3D printers come in really handy. And then we've got the carriage here for the Z-axis. And that's flowing nice and smooth. I need to get some all thread for the back so we can get rid of these clamps and hold tight. Got the rod just temporarily put in here. And the next phase will be to start working on the carriage here. And a view from the back and a little bit of a close up look on these 3D printed bushings to hold the bearings. These are just press fit inside of here and it's a really, really snug fit. Very happy how these came out. Very clean. This was an experiment right here on Thingiverse. You can print up a few of these nuts to match the Acme rod. So what I may do is have kind of a clamp there and tighten that up against the bearing to hold that nice and tight. A side project I was playing around with was this and this was drawn up in Tinkercad and that'll hold four bearings and the gas pipe can go through there with the bearings offset and my thinking here for this part for maybe a future build instead of having all this stuff over here that's a little bit involved if there was a way to design one piece to slide on there and then just mount a carriage on top. It was just something I was playing around with. This still needs a lot of work. But as far as the CNC build, it's coming along fine and we're in good shape. Thanks very much for taking a look.